What's up, family? What it do, booze? Y'all already know what time it is. It's your girl back with another TikTok reaction video and some motherfucking news. So you motherfuckers wait till you, you know, wait till the end. Make sure y'all watch all the way to the end because your girl's going to start doing some giveaways. Your girl's going to put an email out there for y'all to email me, you know, give me some suggestions. If y'all want to get a shout out up in my video, you know, tell me what it is, what it do. Just, you know, a fool for doubt. You guys do not have to have 100,000 subscribers and all this other stuff to get somewhere in life. You know what I'm saying? Just wait till after this little intro. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. Your girl, your girl done got a, a little blessing email this morning. And your girl is on one. You feel me? And I thank you, 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 and all of you out there because my blessings are your blessings. Your blessings are my blessings. And I thank you. And I love you guys. Uh, Y'all love the red lip. I'm feeling some type of way. You know, don't forget, always subscribe, hit that thumbs up, turn on the notification. I thought I put a bell over there, but I didn't. But turn it on. Y'all know what it is. <sighs> Y'all ready? Let's do it. What's up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Tracy, back with another video. And your girl, as you could tell by the title, your girl is moving along. I just want to let all you guys know I love you support, and I thank you for the support. My subscribers are going up slowly but surely, but it was something that was taught to me. In order to get to where you want to go, you got to move slowly. It'll get there. Trust the process. And uh, just a motivational thing, you do not have to have like a million subscribers a 10,000 subscribers or anything like that to get to where you want to be you feel me as you see um i'm gonna post right here yeah your girl got an email from um uh, nike to do a collaboration well it's not really collaborative collaboration they want they feel like my channel is a good channel to um, send products for me to advertise and they having a new winter line come out. It's not something huge, but it could be samples. But guess what? I'll take any little thing. You feel me? Because your girl's a motherfucking hustler. Period. You see what I'm saying? So, just want to let y'all know. If y'all want to do this, y'all can do this. Just do it. Do whatever you want to do. Who cares the fuck about hate or whatever. I'm tired as hell. I work today. I ate dinner and now I'm here sitting in front of y'all. So continue to do what you're doing. That's on what? That's on period. So we're going to get started with the first video reaction TikTok videos. That is what I'm doing today. I am going to try to do another haul, maybe a Goodwill haul, maybe a dollar store haul because y'all know I'm a basic bitch all day, every day. I do not spend a lot of money, a ton of money, period. Okay. So first video, racist principal ruins graduation. What would you do if you went to your kid's graduation and the motherfucking principal just sit up there and just fucking killed the whole vibe? I'm going to tell you what I do. Watch this. Everybody, let's go. It's over with. Baby, get off the stage. Yep. <laughs> yes, she did. And y'all heard her correctly. It was something missing in the, 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 I guess the Valley Victorian or whatever was doing a speech and people was talking and she pretty much just said, well, she didn't pretty much say, she said it was the black people. So once she said black people, everybody got up and like, uh-uh, this is over with. This is done. We're leaving because if you said that at my kid graduation, I'm about to get up there because not only did you just ruin a moment in her life and did, you know, with this whole graduation, but you're going to say only the black people. I'm sure it was some white people talking in that motherfucking audience. Okay. I, I'm not going to lie. I probably whoop her ass, but we're going to go ahead to this other one. Now I put this one in there because you know what I'm saying? They told me something that I didn't even fucking know. Watch. There's a whole section dedicated to people who don't tip and their order just sits there. This is why I really don't fuck with DoorDash or Uber Eats because they be fucking on my orders anyway. What the young girl is saying on this video is basically if you don't add the tip to the service, they don't have to pick up your motherfucking food and get your shit, pretty much, because they independent contractors. First of all, tipping is a satisfactory service. That means if I'm satisfied with how you bring me my motherfucking food, then I'm going to tip your ass, period. No one is obligated to give you a tip when they don't even know how they're going to receive their food. When I'm at a restaurant, I don't tip the waitress before the service. I tip the waitress after the fucking service because I need to know and I need to see how you perform your service and if I'm satisfied with the service. And I don't like the way that DoorDash and Uber Eats set that shit up where they want you to tip first 
Because, baby, one time that happened to me and a girl sent me my food and Sprite was all over my food. What? It's Facts. So, if you didn't hear what the hell the lady said was, Uber Eats and DoorDash have a right to not pick up your order. If you ain't put that tip in before then, they're not going to pick up your food. At that McDonald's, that was all the orders that was not getting tipped that never got picked up. That's still sitting there, signed, sealed, but never delivered. I do feel you. I have gotten Dunkin' Donuts yesterday and I ordered three refreshers. Got one and it wasn't a medium, it was a small. And my sandwich was hella bad. Dude pulled up blasting music and then when my daughter got the bag off the porch, it smelled like weed. I didn't like it, but I tipped you before I even got my shit. But don't worry, you girl, I got a motherfucking refund. And I put a review in there. And that's another thing. I hate to put a motherfucking review because now these people know where you live at. It's just, it's stupid. It's stupid as hell. But just know, if your motherfucking ass ain't placing no tip, you probably ain't gonna get your motherfucking food. So we all know Thanksgiving coming up. Me leaving on Thanksgiving. And this is me. How Well, you know what? I'm the one cooking. But how it used to be is when my family cook and I go to their Thanksgiving, I'm, I'm, this is how I'm li leaving. He got every motherfucking dish in his hand. He got everything. He ain't got a plate. He got the whole aluminum pan. Too happy. He finna be eating good for about two, three weeks. You feel me? Because... But that's the thing. Don't come to my house empty handed and you think you're finna leave with a whole pan of dressing, a whole pan of baked macaroni, a whole pan of greens and this, that, and the third. But that, that y'all know how it is. I'm sure y'all probably did the same thing. This right here, I told y'all my last three videos. If you ain't watch it, what go watch my shit. Okay. If I ain't if you ain't watch my stuff, where you been? Where you been? When it's time for a family meeting, you need to again turn on that bell notification so you can come on back. I told y'all I hate seeing that challenge when they be like bark at your dog and see what they're gonna do. And I said it's gonna be one dog that's just gonna go ham on a person because that's not a good trend. That's not smart. And then ooh, right here, he a whole cop, he did it to his canine. These motherfuckers are trained to kill. It's something that's off. So why would you even do it? Those train gonna get me deep. Hey. Who That motherfucker dog got all the time in the world. That canine got all the time. He looked like he was trying to bite the arm. That's what I'm saying. Y'all gotta stop doing these stupid old trends. Now, this one here, I don't even know what's what it is, but it had a disclosure saying, do not do this if you're not a professional. This is stupid, and it had me on my edge of my seat until the end of it. Now, watch it. Y'all watch. And I don't know how it ended because I, I said I wanted to see the ending with y'all. See, your girl waited on y'all. She waited on y'all. So we're going to go ahead and watch the whole thing together. Watch. Big ass bear. And he on a damn bike. So let me walk y'all through my thought process, right? I'm going to whisper. What if, what if he fall? Like, what if he go the wrong way and it's a dead end? That bear big as fuck. And then he keeps turning around and that motherfucker's still on his ass. Look how fast he going, right? Look, that bear still on his ass. He hitting these humps. It's too many. It's too many fucking humps. Look at him. Like, how do he know which way to go? Look, he on this fucking bike, y'all. Ain't no motor. Ain't no. That bear ain't giving up. That motherfucker hungry. It's a big ass bear. He about to hibernate. Look, look, look at that twig. Look at that twig. Then he got the fuck off. I'm not getting off. All right, that's why I stopped it, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. So he hiding behind a tree. A bear can fucking smell you. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I guess they had some, look at, I'm whispering and shit like I'm the crocodile hunter. I guess they had somebody on stand, but I don't know what the fucking experiment was, but I'm not fucking doing it. Because if the experiment don't go right, it looked like somebody shot, it sounded like somebody shot a gun and the bear took off. What if that bear didn't take off? What if the bear caught up with me? What if I fucking fail? That shit is tragic. Like, that's a big ass bear. Do y'all know big ass bears can, you know what a bear can do to you? Like, come on now, stop playing with me. So, this is the last video. I was going to stop there, but no, I got to go. I didn't know Karen's. I didn't know Karens didn't like white white people to either. I thought Karens was like they didn't just like they just they fuck 
Don't come for me. Come, don't go, don't come for me. I thought Karen's like dislike black people only. A real talk. I didn't know that Karen's dislike white people. And this is what I'm talking about. Let me just have to go because I'm stoning. Okay, I'm up tight. Well, Karen is taking this neighbor war fucking seriously. Why was my county's fire and rescue team here? That bitch. I was out barbecuing, cooking dinner for my family. When all of a sudden my wife walks out and says, um, the fire people are here? What the fuck? I go to my front door and the fireman standing in my doorway tells me that there has been a report of an uncontained illegal fire in my backyard. Nope, just barbecuing for my family. Do you mind if we come take a look? Nope, not at all. They come out, take a look, and see that it's just my barbecue. They go over to my neighbor's house. Bitch, I knew it was you. I'm standing in my front yard listening to their conversation. Um, according to HOA and city laws, you cannot have a fire unless it is in a pit in the ground. So obviously he's in clear violation. The fireman looks at her and says, ma'am, you do realize we know that this is now the third time you've called in a fake report, right? We are now going to write you a citation for wasting city resources. Get fucked, Karen. I love him because he was like straight. It was that bitch over there. I knew it was you, bitch. Like, Karen's, do y'all get paid to be Karen's? Because y'all y'all have too much time on y'all hands to re report bullshit. You feel me? And I'm glad that this Karen got, cite uh, got a citation for wasting, you know, emergency resources. Like, do y'all get paid for this? Do, I mean, what what is the deal? Why do you like this lifestyle? Do you love being hated? Back to my original question. Do y'all get paid for this? I'm not doing shit I ain't get paid for, period. You know what I'm saying? Because that is what I'm about lately, period, point blank. I don't care what you doing, you doing, you doing. I don't care who you talk to. I don't care about this drama. I don't care about nothing. Your girl care about getting herself and her family out, you know, where she been. And your girl is doing good at it. You feel me? As I told you, I'm going to post the motherfucking receipts. And that's on what? That's on period. And I think all of y'all, because my win is y'all win. I ain't never been to take the credit for nothing by myself i wouldn't be here if it weren't for y'all so make sure y'all keep like comment and subscribe and make sure y'all turn on the notifications so you could join me when this family meeting time and that's it that's all i got for y'all i'm 12 minutes in as you see your girl videos are getting longer so i'm out continue to do what y'all do so i can continue to do what i do email me let me know what y'all want me to do what y'all want to see email me if y'all want to shout out i really don't care i'm gonna start doing giveaways once your girl get a little bit on i ain't gonna lie to you i'm not there yet but make sure y'all come back Bye.